Hello, welcome to HIT. My name is Mary. You just need a pair of dumbbells and a mat. If you don't have dumbbells, that's okay. You can use a couple cans of soup. You can go without. All of those are options. And in terms of weight, just do whatever you're comfortable with. I have tens here, which might be a little bit heavy for some of the exercises, um, depending on your level right now. But do what works for you. No shame in going light. Let's get started with some warm-up exercises. We just want to get loose, just moving some of the joints. And open and close. Overhead. And then sweeping side to side. I'm also moving my feet a little bit and hips. And then just rolling hips around. Getting a nice stretch in the hip flexors, other direction. Maybe feeling some pops and cracks, but as long as it's not painful, it should be okay. And then taking hands behind the ears. Squat, knees and toes in line, keeping chest lifted. Thinking about engaging glutes here as we stand up. The glutes are part of the core, so engaging them will help us protect our spine and just keep overall good form. So important to keep a good eye out for that while we're about three more squats. Very good. And now let's do rear lunges as we reach our arms overhead. You choose the depth of the lunge. From the side, it looks like this. And again, if you can't go down that far comfortably, you can just tap back. Being core engaged. Feeling a little bit of a stretch in the hip flexor. Once more on each side. And then side lunge. Toes pointing straight ahead, feet parallel, using this side of the body the glutes to press yourself up. Let's add a reach overhead. Three more. Very good, going to the other side. job so far. You're still, you're still with me. I know it's hard if you're working out at home to stick with a workout video, but hey, you've made it about three minutes in. You're doing great. Okay, curtsy lunges. Stepping one leg behind the other, curtsy. We can alternate on this. showed up. We're going to get a good workout. We're going to feel good. We're maybe going to challenge ourselves a little bit, but we can adjust the challenge to make it the right amount of challenge. And once more on each side. Very good. Coming to the edge of the mat, just bending your knees and walking out to high plank. Hands underneath the shoulders. Bending the knees again, walking back. And let's do that three more times. Walking out to plank and walking back twice more. And once 
once more. And then just walking out and holding that position in high plank. Rotate toward me, heels can go down. And if you can, lift one arm and then change sides, same thing. Heels go down, press the floor away and back to the center. We'll do that once more on each side. Thinking about having a straight line from our hand on the floor to our fingertips. Other side. And back to center, lifting hips, just walking the heels down one at a time. And then coming back to high plank, walking the hands back, bending the knees and rolling up slowly. Very good, okay. Moving into our first sequence of exercises. Get a dumbbell if you have one. We just need one for this. This is a glute bridge with a weight on our hips. So you place the weight on your hips and we're just lifting and lowering. We'll be here for 30 seconds. Do it when you're ready. Make sure to breathe. For those of you who want extra challenge, can, oh, stay on the floor, keep your one dumbbell, we're holding our dumbbell over our chest, I'm trying to sit up and bring it overhead, then roll back slowly, and same thing, keeping it controlled, and keeping chin tucked, so rather than leading with our chin as we come up, we want to lead with the dumbbell, with our chest. Five seconds. And time. You can place the dumbbell down just to the side where you're not gonna trip on it. And, oh, we have one, sorry. One more, one more with the dumbbell here. Trying to stand on one leg and lifting toward the corner, balancing at the same time. It's a great balance exercise as well as working shoulders. Keep it controlled on the way up and on the way down. Core is also working here to control this movement. And changing sides in three, two, one. If you find that whatever weight you have is too much for this exercise, you can do this without weight and I will assure you it will still be challenging, especially for balance. Ten seconds. Three, two, and time. Going back to the floor for our glute bridges. seconds and lifting dumbbell overhead sit-ups with our dumbbell
controlling it on the way up and on the way down. Keeping that chin tucked. Ten seconds. our single leg balance with our lift, feeling the arms already. And if you need to put this foot down, you can. Five seconds. Switching sides. Definitely feeling this in my shoulders. seconds. Three, two, and time. Very good. All right. You can place the weight down to the side. Next exercise is push-ups. No requirement on how deep you go. Also, knees or toes are fine. A mat may be more comfortable if you're using a hard floor. Then maybe go to a rug or something or pull out a towel. But here we go. I'll go on my knees to start. Hands in Whatever position is most comfortable, I like them around shoulder width. Shoulders pressing away from the ears, core and glute engaged. up to standing. Knees and toes in line, starting with just squat and heel lift, keeping chest lifted. So up and down like that. If you want, you can add the jump, but you don't have to. You can stay with just the heel lift. You can also alternate doing the heel lift and then the jump, heel lift, jump. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and time. Very good. Okay, next we're traveling to one side, then reaching down, stepping back. So travel, reach down, step back. This is like a runner's lunge position here. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. Just reach down. Trying to keep the back flat so that we have good posture and we aren't hunched in our shoulders. Ten seconds. Stick with it, we can do it. Three, two, and time, very good. Ooh, back to our push-ups. I'll face this way. Here we go. Final alignment. More than halfway through. Mm -hmm. 
five, three, two, and time. Very good. Come up to standing, squat to heel lift, or jump. I like the alternating version, so I'll do that one, but do what works for you. Soft landing if you're jumping, though. And keep paying attention to knees and toes. You want them to be in line. Also, no requirement on the depth of the squat. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and time. Now stepping to the side, runner's lunge. Ooh, starting to breathe more heavily. Go at your own pace here. Ten seconds. Three, two, and time. Awesome job. Okay. Grab a sip of water. Just take a breather. I'll start walking through the next series of exercises, but you can rest. Next exercise is with dumbbells. Here you have some options. You can be hinged to the hips with one leg tapping behind you, just supporting your weight there, and hinged here, and then lifting from the elbows. If you feel comfortable with it, you can lift that back leg, balancing on the front one. So come back to that when you're ready. Starting in three, two, and here we go. Really lifting from the elbows. Trying to keep the chin tucked. I know you might be trying to look at the screen, but try to keep your head in good alignment rather than craning the neck. All right, we're gonna switch in three, two, same thing, just other leg down or in front. Ooh. Glutes should be engaged here too. This will help you not feel it in your lower back. And five seconds. Three, two, and time. Great. Okay, weights down out of your way. Next is jumping jacks. You can do modified like this, or you can do full, whatever is best for you. And I, I really like the alternating version. I just feel like I'm compromising. I'm getting a little bit of both worlds of low impact and high impact. We have 10 seconds. Three, two, well done. Next, knee lift, knee lift. And then optionally, you can jump and jump. So knee, knee, jump, jump. If you don't wanna jump, just do a little bit more powerfully of a knee lift on the second time. So normal knee lift, normal knee lift, then drive, drive, or normal, normal, jump, jump. Stick with it, we have 10 more seconds. Soft landing if you're jumping. 
three, two, and one. Very good. Back to our rows with our dumbbells. Single leg balance or supporting with the back leg. Lifting from the elbows, keeping hips facing the floor. Breathing. Squeezing shoulder blades together as we lift, changing sides. Three, two, and time. Very good. We have jacks. Trying to keep shoulders relaxed. 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Knee lift, knee lift, knee drive or jump on each side. Go at your own pace. Three, two, and time. Great job. Next one. Picking up the dumbbells. Arms at about 90 degrees to start. Alternating lift. If you want some extra challenge, you can stand on one leg. Keeping it controlled. Soft knee on the stance leg rather than locking it. If you're on one leg, you can switch. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Hold on to the dumbbells. Side lunge, toes straight ahead, and then curtsy lunge, stepping one leg behind the other. Side lunge, curtsy lunge. Keeping knees stacked over the ankle on the curtsy lunge. seconds. Three, two, and switching sides. You can do this without weights as well. seconds. Three, two, and time. Weights go down. Four skaters, so stepping or jumping one leg behind the other four times, and then step and reach. You can also tap down. Here we go. This is skaters for three, 
two, one, step, reach, step, reach. Again. Great job. 15 seconds. And time. Back to our overhead press. 90 degrees with the arms. Single leg for that extra challenge. Controlled movements. Switching legs in three, two, one. seconds on this side. Three, two, switching sides. Sitting the hips back, but keeping chest lifted on the side lunge. for four. Here we go. Remember, you can stay low. You can stay on the floor rather than jumping with that skater. For more intensity, you can reach lower, jump a little farther, and then reach toward the floor in a deeper way on these tabs. Fifteen seconds. Five, three, two, and time. Awesome. Ooh, okay, another rest break. Drink some water while I tell you what we'll do next. We've gone through all our exercises for this class. We're going to go through them again but you know them all, so no problem. You also know what modifications you can use, what ways you can make them harder if they were too easy the first round. And we will be a little bit more tired now, so just keep that in mind, you're doing great. Hey, it's 30 minutes in, almost, and you are sticking with it, so I'd say, I'd say we're, we're being successful, but we have an opportunity to do even more. Okay, getting ready for our glute bridges to start. Pick up your weight, come to the floor. Getting ready in three, two, and lift the hips.
five seconds. Three, two, and one. Then sitting up, lifting the weight overhead. Controlled on the way down and on the way up. Great job. About 15 more seconds. Five, three, two, and time. Come up to standing, balancing on one leg, and lifting the weight across the body. Five more seconds on the side. And switch. Great job, 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Going back to our glute bridges. One more time. Lifting the hips. Really engaging glutes as you lift. Ten seconds. Three, two, and sitting up. Tucking the pelvis under as we roll back. Five more seconds on this side. Switch. Five more seconds. Three, two, and time, very good. Moving on to our push-ups. Knees or toes. Here we go. Going at our own pace, we'll be here for about 30 seconds. Step, 
runner's lunge. <laughs> Reach. our push-ups. Ooh, last time we do push-ups in this class. Step side. with the one leg behind you, lifting from the elbows, back is squat, keeping good posture, shoulders are away from the ears. Switching sides in three, two, and one. seconds. Three, two, and time. Jumping jacks or modified jacks. seconds. Three, two, very good. And then knee lift, knee lift, jump, jump, or just driving that knee, staying on the floor. it up. 15 seconds. Three, two, and back to our row. Knee is soft. 
facing toward the floor, even though one leg is lifted or in the back. Switching three, two, and here we go. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Jacks. Well done, guys. Keep it up. Five seconds. And time. Okay, last, last set of exercises. We're alternating lifts, standing on one leg. Switching sides in three, two, one. Five seconds, three, two, and one, side lunge, and then curtsy lunge. Switching, three, two, one. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Putting the weights down, four skaters, and then four reaches with the tap. Okay, back to our overhead press. So close to our cool down. Switching sides in three, two, one. Side lunge, curtsy lunge. Five seconds, three, two, switching sides. Last exercise before the cool down, guys. We have skaters. Four, three, two, one. Step tap. 20 
20 seconds and we cool down. Whew. 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Awesome. Ooh, well done. Going into stretching, bending both knees, core engaged, tucking hips under, and pressing the hips forward. Changing sides. Calf stretch, heel down, feet parallel. Stepping one leg behind the other core, engaged, just reaching and pulling on that wrist toward the sky. Other side. Opening up the chest, shoulders down, just rolling the head side to side. circles, going outside, and hip circles going inside, and shake it out, and we are done. Way to stick with it, way to make it to the end. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.